Politics. The government now says at least 12 million Kenyans have successfully registered for the Social Health Authority as of today's Sunday. More than 1,400 health facilities have also been contracted, while those registered have been assured of free access to primary health care and the primary health care fund at level 2, 3 and select 4 health facilities, as well as emergency services in all health facilities. Listen in. According to the Ministry of Health, over 12 million Kenyans have registered to the Social Health Authority. The government further says that 1,442 hospitals have signed contracts as of Sunday. Of today, 6th October 2024, registered a total of 12,704,548 members into the Social Health Authority. These numbers include the verified numbers of members who are under the defunct NHIF and who have been transitioned to the Social Health Authority. The ministry has said that all those registered are now eligible to free access to primary health care under the primary health care fund at level 2, 3 and select 4 health facilities as well as emergency services in all health facilities. We've looked at our systems, we have reviewed them and we have now reconciled together with the service providers because <clears throat> they are the most important stakeholders in this process. Several patients have been complaining of being denied services following the transition with many forced to make cash payments at the facilities. The government, however, said that all public hospitals level 2 to 6 have been contracted and are now offering services to SHA registered beneficiaries. All patients where NHIF had given undertaking before the 1st of October will have their bills paid by NHIF. All patients whose admission or whose procedures commenced after 30th of September will have their bills settled under the new fund SHA. SHA portal is set to be operational within the next 24 hours and a prioritization given to the settlement of claims since the transition from NHIF began. I've also received reassurances that in terms of your claims, that uh, number one, the SHA portal for claiming should be up and running within the next 24 hours. Many health facilities have experienced issues such as member identification with a new portal pre-authorization for services and submission of claims for services provided. Now, tension is